Hi there, Dr. Andrea Schnowski from Freedom Chiropractic and Holistic Health and the Peoria Metro Center and our YouTube channel, Health and Horsepower. Now, it is October and you may or may not know, but I typically love October, not only because of Halloween, but it's also National Chiropractic Health Month, which means that this month we are going to be focusing on how chiropractic can help not only you with your health issues, but also the rest of your family. We are a family chiropractic office, which means we do treat babies as well as older adults. Our youngest patient was two hours old and our oldest was 102. We tailor care to the person so that we can provide the best care and also make sure that we have care plans to help you not only get out of pain as quickly as possible, but retrain the muscles and ligaments so you have long-term stability so that you can keep yourself healthy. So uh, what I want to do is kind of share a little bit more about the philosophy of chiropractic. Now, chiropractic is actually a philosophy, a science, and an art also kind of combined in one. So there's three stools that balance it out. So chiropractic is a philosophy because when we look at traditional medical care and we look at the philosophy of medicine, typically we wait until we have health issues and then we focus on trying to diagnose, figure out the problem and either have a medication or a surgery that is prescribed for specifically that diagnosis. Chiropractic focuses on how to basically restore normal function and healing capabilities that are already inside of your body from your innate wisdom so that your body can heal yourself. So as a chiropractor, my job is to make sure that the bones of your spine are in alignment properly and spaced out properly so that the nerves coming out of each of those bones are sending signals to your organs and your cells and your muscles and your ligaments so that your body is working at 100% all the time. If there is a bone that is broken down, if there is pressure on the nerve, if there's a bone not moving or a joint not moving properly, I can do an adjustment to restore motion in the joint, relieve nerve pressure, and basically help your body get into a better position so it can focus on healing so that we can get not only healing response and pain relief, but also I focus on adding in exercises and posture exercises so that we can actually change the whole foundation of your spine and change the dynamics of how your joints move so that we can actually keep things moving for the long term to prevent arthritis and keep you active as you age. So that is a philosophy portion of it. Now, chiropractic is also a science because there has been many, many research studies that have been done that have linked chiropractic care with many health problems and how chiropractic can help assist or help change how the body heals and functions. Um, there is a really great website called chiro.org. They have a research tab that has information on a number of different health conditions that chiropractic can help with, as well as the cost effectiveness of chiropractic. Now, if you checked out our newsletter for October, I talked a little bit more about some, just a couple of those things that they have in the research. One of those was on the cost effectiveness of chiropractic care for back pain and work injuries and how we're able to not only reduce the cost by one tenth of medical care for back injuries, but we're able to get you back to work almost three to four times faster because of how we do care in our office. I also shared a little bit more about um, kind of hard and long birth and labor situations and how that can cause issues for newborns and also some information on how hypertension or high blood pressure can be helped with chiropractic care. So if you haven't checked out that newsletter, make sure you check your inbox that went out on Friday last week. And then when it comes to chiropractic as an art, every chiropractor adjusts differently. They have different ways that they adjust, different things that they do. Um, sometimes even when I'm looking at a joint, if I have somebody that you know maybe has a mobility issue or they have a shoulder issue and they've had scar tissue or surgery, I can do things differently. I don't necessarily have to do a forceful adjustment. You may not hear popping or snapping. I might do more of a massage or like a push pull and have you resist me to help move that bone. So there's many different ways that I can adjust. And there's also different ways that I can go about moving a joint that doesn't involve force or involves more of a massage or a pressure technique to make it more comfortable for each and every single one of my patients, no matter their age. So if you want to learn more about chiropractic this month, make sure you subscribe to our channel um, and subscribe and watch for those. We have new videos every Wednesday at five o'clock that'll be going up on our YouTube channel, as well as on our Rumble page and also on our Facebook page. So make sure you're following those and uh, we'll see you again next week. Have a great day.